All right. So we've built our terrain. We set a limit for the gold, and we have assembled our armies. We have. We did 75 gold, and we are playing with the new medieval rules. So a few new abilities out there. Let's see if we used any of them. So, time to set up our units. I would say, uh, just because it's kind of a map-dependent thing, I think the orcs have definitely controlled the ruins, I would say. Definitely. So I think you can kind of put the orcs wherever you want within that, around that campfire. Yeah, within the space. Yep. I'm going to say that these uh, crown knights are coming into the orc camp and probably could be in the first four to five uh, spaces. Does that sound right? I think that's reasonable. Okay, I'll put them. We'll see what happens. All right. Super group putting your units and <laughs> uh, <laughs> put them accordingly around. Interesting. Yes. Uh, I actually don't know what the best way to do this is. Let's see. You know what? Okay, we're gonna. Um, okay, so just to let you know, uh, these are all advanced helms over here. Uh, the gold swords are just broadswords. They're just normal gold broadswords. Nothing special about them. Uh, we got spear. Uh, and also, the spear unit is equipped with a dagger. We got a one-handed axe. And also, just normal shields throughout. And we got a mace. Uh, I should mention that... Uh, this unit right here did do the pay to win. That armor is not cosmetic, it is actually armor. So, wow. Yeah, but so. so. Good to know. Just to declare that. Thank you. And on the orc side, we have three regular axes. Are those tower shields? They are. Oh, okay, great. Nobody has any advanced helms except for the luxurious hair over here. Mm. Uh, I had a gold left over that was able to contribute to <laughs> fantastic. Hair styling protection, <laughs> no armor, simply cosmetic. Cool. Uh, actually, they actually, bought the skins. They bought the skins. All right. I think everything's been declared. Let's roll to see who goes first. 10, 18. Nice. All right. So, your go. The orcs have spotted you. Start off with pivot. I'm going to see what's, what's going on over here. Uh, try and get into some kind of formation here. Uh, the three of them are going to defend. Uh, and that is going to be our turn. No charging this turn? Not this turn. Okay. All right. See, I don't see any ranged units on your side, so I'm not sure that I need to. Hmm. At you the would, moment. You would think that. Yeah, that's probably right. Uh, all right, this unit's one, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? This unit's going to stay back here, and this unit will charge next turn. So I'm going for that, that defense bonus eventually. I want more time to build for this unit to use its shield, so that way your bows aren't going to uh, mess it up on its way over. All right. One, two, Using that three, new mechanic. Five, exactly. Uh, and defend. One, two, three, four, five. Defending. Defending. And defending. All right. Uh, orcs going to continue forming up. are going to um, a bit right here. Um, they are going to charge oh. on their next turn. Oh, this is interesting. It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yep, and that is our turn. Okay. Charging units are going to charge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, this unit has moved eight, so now it gets plus one to whatever attack it has afterwards. Uh, I'm going to declare I'm going to continue this charge next turn, so that will happen. Um, yeah, that's all the bonuses for that. I don't care for this uh, orc charge that is coming. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> you do. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to pivot. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two. Everyone's defending. Your okay. turn. So the orcs begin their charge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is definitely That's missing. definitely out of range. Put it back to that one. I think. I think that's just out of range. It looks like it. Yeah. Okay. And it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna. I realize we forgot to put on the 15 stud uh, range finder because I have spear units I can throw with a range of 15. Good to know. Of course, it's a little bit. Oh, sorry. Number one rule: charge units gonna charge. Charges beginning of the turn. First. I can't control that. I declare the last turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and the battle begins. So this unit is going to attack your orc. Uh, gets plus one to the roll because it's been charging for more than six studs. Excellent. Five. Eight. Okay. The orc survives. The orc survives. The charge stops. Don't like that. The unit can't do anything else. So that's that. Pivot one, two, three, four, five. Defend. That seems like it will be important. I think that you know right um, and let's see, how, how far is this orc right in front of the mace unit going to get next turn? Okay, definitely going to be in range no matter what. It's going to be up in there. Yep. So, might as well form a line. One, two, three, defend, and... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this unit is going to throw their spear at that orc. Okay. It's within the 15 range. And that hits between 8 and 20. That is a 3. That is a That's strong miss. The spear goes over here in the bushes and <laughs> oh you know what I didn't even leave the unit enough movements to equip its dagger for next turn so oh that that definitely hurts yeah it's gonna be standing there kind of useless yep two movements per hand uh one movement left gotta be without a weapon 
do love that new rule change. Yep, hopefully don't need to punch an orc next turn. It is your turn. <laughs> yes, hopefully it doesn't come to that. <laughs> that would be sad, sad and desperate. <laughs> uh, so my orcs are still charging. Here is engaged. One more. One more, I believe. Yep. Do it. Yeah, I can I make this easier rather yeah, than having this works. giant custom mace. Uh, <laughs> it is a very nice mace. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. And then starting from my right okay. to left. Okay. I want to get my accuracy die out of there. Yes. Okay. So, plus one versus just two die. I don't have any defensive bonuses. Not defending anymore. That's a close one. Lives. All right. Uh, now in the middle, to your most armored unit. Plus two, because defending with a shield. Nine. Ooh, definitely beats my six. And then... The last one remaining. Okay, two die plus two for me. Ooh. Another resounding success for you. The line has held. And I guess you have to do that all because they were charging first, so. Yes. Um, so, starting here, going to target that unit. With my bow. An 11 it's is a hit. just within range. Nice. Well, I don't know why I'm complimenting. I, <laughs> I it was a I, nice roll. I, I, I shouldn't be happy about this, but. Uh, Alright, yeah, that was. Uh, well, I have a lot because I have the plus two from the helmet, plus two from the shield, minus one from attrition, attrition. for being attacked. Yep, so. There wasn't much you could do in ways of killing that unit with a bow <laughs> this turn. But the other unit is going to target the same. Okay. 14, 14 another hit. All right, so I get minus two, plus four, total plus two. Six. Oh my gosh. Well. <laughs> okay. All right. The orc teamwork. It's coming through. Uh, and that's the orc turn. The punching scenario just got infinitely <laughs> more likely. Um, all right, we're going to try some stuff first. Uh, this unit with the axe is going to attack your orc with the axe. Okay. Um, just normal attack, no no bonuses. Just two versus two. Just, or you have a tower? I do. Right, so, so plus one. you got plus one. All right. Defeats this orc. Pretty good axe wing. All right. Uh, this unit's going to move more than the helmet. Oh my gosh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I probably should have just charged uh, at the next turn, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, call it strategic. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Pivot. Um, and let's start out with trying to take out some of these orcs. This unit is going to attack with the broadsword against this orc. Okay. That is just two die, no bonuses. I get plus ten. Eleven. Okay. Uh, the flail is going to attack. Two die. You don't get any defensive bonuses. No bonus. The attrition... Six. Ooh. So this work is defeated. Oh, this is very quickly turned. Uh, this unit is going to use two movements to equip the dagger. This unit's going to throw the dagger. Bold choice. I'm feeling kind of bold today. Let's see if it hits. It hits. 
There's no critical for daggers, but it hits. It very much hits. Okay. Dagger's just two die plus one, and but it counts as a melee weapon, so you don't get any helm bonus. You get the shield bonus. You get the shield bonus. <laughs> uh, tech. So it was very accurately thrown, just not in the right place. Yeah, just kind of dinged off the helmet uh, perfectly. All right. What a nice resonant sound. <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay. Um, so this axe is just going to keep walking up. Okay. It's going to take a swing at the, the person who just decided to throw a dagger at them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not cool. Ooh, seven. Fortunately, they, they live this turn. Yep. Uh, orcs are pretty fearless, though. <laughs> you know, that's that's kind of how orcs work sometimes. Uh, from here to the same. No! 20. Okay. It's critical hit. With a crit. crit. Yeah. Uh, I get plus two because of the helmet, but minus one because of attrition, so I get plus one my roll. I get plus two. Okay. That's orc justice. <laughs> love to see it. Hate to see it. Depends who you are. Orcs love to see it. Uh, the other orc is going to target your big dad. Okay. My perspective is really kind of more of a big good, but <laughs> sure. All right, plus two to the roll for the helmet defense. Nine. Nine. Close. Wow, very close. Okay, and that's the orc turn. Okay. Uh, this unit is going to move forward and then back pivot. It's going to attack your bow with its axe. Two die. Eight. Ten. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> one, two, pivot, three. F oh, I can just attack from there. I'll attack a little bit uphill. All right. This unit, the broadsword, is going to attack the same work. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Seven. Nine. What? I'm sure I could do something more about that. Pivot. <laughs> One, two. Uh, I was going to lower the shield because I don't think it seems going to be using the shield much anymore. All right. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean by that? <laughs> but, you know, just, just a feeling. Just a prediction. Can I attack with the flail? Okay. Seven. Oh, Ooh. three. Plus, I know this is, seems to be going pretty well for me right now, but I was kind of hoping to use the pushback mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the orcs keep on dying before they can be pushed back. At least the ones with the axes in anyway. <laughs> Right. All right, that is your turn. Okay, well, in that case, one, two, one, two, three, four, uh, starting here, I'm gonna take pop shots at that one. Miss. Alright, another shot though. Hit. That will hit. Unlikely as it may be. Plus two. Alright. No such luck. Yeah, bow and arrows are tough. You kinda need a good volley to have a good chance of taking down a advanced helm unit. Definitely do. And it's your turn. Pivot one. Two, three, four. I need to raise this axe. Five. Oh wait, why did I do that? I can't even attack anyone. That was silly. Alright. One, two, three. Going to attack the bow. 
two die. Seven, seven. Seven and seven. One, two, three, four. And going to attack. Two die. Nine. With attrition. Yep. But with a pushback, that unit moves back two spaces. Whoa. Pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things are getting kind of wild up here. That's, that's actually history. This is this is the first time a pushback has ever been used or a knockback. So. Can you feel that? <laughs> I feel like I've been pushed. <laughs> back. I thought, I thought you were going to say that was that was history. <laughs> the winds of his, the winds of change. At my back. At your back. <laughs> we'll workshop it. In we'll, post. We'll, yeah, we'll workshop it. We'll we'll edit this part out. It'll yeah, be great. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Editors, can you edit this part out? Pivot one, two, three. Five. Two. <laughs> uh, and here to here. <laughs> Sacrificial lamb. You know, unfortunately, just missing. Just missing. You know, sometimes you're running forward and trying to shoot someone with a bow. Mm -hmm. Doesn't always work out. So you gotta try again. This one does hit. Okay. Plus two. <laughs> Impossible to kill. 14. Double sixes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> That's the orc turn. Okay. We're gonna do what I think is gonna be termed the bullying maneuver. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, we're gonna back pivot just for purposes of being able to fit them in. Um, unit with flail is going to attack that unit. Uh, eight. But uh, they can push back or knock back two, and they can only be moved one, which means that I get an extra die. Knockback effect. Wow. The bully effect. Knockback used to full effect here. <laughs> Taking out a unit. More history being made. More history being made. It's kind of funny because I could have just done the backstab at that point yep. with this unit, but... History, you know? Yeah. Uh, I forgot how many movements that was for that unit. The bully maneuver might have... It was a four? It was about four. It was four. Thank you. Okay. Back pivot. And though it may be awkward, it will attack. Then with the axe. Very good. Not even close. One, two, three, four, five. And at this point, you get a bonus. Last man standing. Yep. Two actions per turn. So I'm going to fire off a couple of shots each turn now. It basically feels like I didn't even lose another orc. <laughs> and still going for the same one. First one's a miss. Thanks to my second action, it's a hit. I can hit. All right. Plus two. Oh! Ten. Oh! Wow. Wow. Okay. That means that this unit loses armor. No more helmet for them. No more defensive bonus against range, actually. Huh. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This guy. That guy. That's why I took the shot. That's why I took the shot. I'm sorry, it's my turn? Yes. Okay, cool. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Give it one, two, three. One, two. All right. Axe is going to attack first. 
no bonus, just straight axe. Three. Eight. Okay. Flail is going to attack. Yep. Minus one for the cushion. Nine. Ooh. Go on, well, <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was a better roll. It was a better roll. Not quite enough. A final orc goes down. Final orc goes down. The crown knights have vanquished the orc encampment. Good game. Yeah, well done. I do like the, the new rules that we were able to use here. Yeah. Uh, from knockback to uh, charging mechanics, allowing a little bit more defense, and throwing things. Throwing things was sometimes fun. Sometimes successfully. Sometimes, sometimes not. <laughs> sometimes successfully. Sometimes unsuccessfully, even when successful. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that felt good. It did. It's hard with the bows, I feel like, uh, in this small of a match, because it can really... Be uh, it can really contribute, or it could just kind of not do too much the whole entire match, just depending on the luck of the roll and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and something I hadn't considered is that the the charge will have to take effect before the bows, so they'll never be able to start working attrition before the the charge actually connects with the enemy. <clears throat> That's actually a really good point. Something to consider. Something when to building consider. your armies. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and had I used bows and not just kind of completely melee build. Hypothetically, those tower shields would have come in really handy charging my line. Especially if I was doing more of a phalanx kind of thing. So, but Yeah, the charge meeting a charge actually felt pretty good. It that was fun. <laughs> good game. Well played. Well played. Thanks for watching, Commanders. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more Constructing Command content. Let us know in the comments below if you liked this new, long-form video format, or what other videos you'd like to see in the future. If you want to use the new Medieval Era rules, use the link in the description below, or visit our website. And as always, we'd also like to welcome you to our Discord community, the best place to share maps, strategies, and builds, as well as engage with other players. Follow the link in the description below. Good luck out there, Commanders.